watching CBS 2 News This Morning in High Definition. Well, this time of year, it is hard to get kids excited about going back to school and getting their minds working can be a real challenge. But there are ways to stimulate the brain and keep kids from falling into summer slide. Joining us is the education coordinator for Project Mori, Lance Osher. Welcome. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Let's talk about Project Mori and how it started. So we're now in our 15th season of helping to cut back the summer slide. Um, Project Mori is actually named after Maury Stein, who was a legend in the camping field and tragically died in a plane crash, raising money money to save, uh, to, um, uh, to support kids uh, who wouldn't otherwise be able to go to summer camp. Because these are inner city kids and you bring them to the camps and it's a year round project, it's not just a summer camp. Right, it's a year round program. Mm -hmm. So we take mm -hmm. kids um, the summer before their fifth grade year and we take them through high school graduation um, with both year round summer uh, activities and then also afternoon and uh, weekend programs during the school year. And the kids have been so successful in Project Mori, all graduated from high school, 80% right. going on to college. One of the things you focus on is during the summer months not to let that summer slide happen. Exactly. We know that kids lose some academic knowledge during the summer when they don't have time to practice skills that they would during the school year. And so uh, kids can lose up to actually two months of grade level equivalency wow. in reading and math when they don't have time to practice those skills. That's tough. Two months. Because right. <laughs> sometimes as a parent you think, oh, it's summer, they should play and all that sort of stuff. But there's actually some fun ways to incorporate education into the summer. Exactly. And, and learning doesn't have to just take place inside of the class. Classroom. And camp uh, specifically is a great place for kids to, to practice some fun ways to learn. And Project Mori uh, focuses on science, math, and reading uh, to make it more fun during the summer. So let's talk about some of the ways that parents right now, even if you've taken a whole yeah. break this summer with getting your, your, mind, your child's mind alert, what are some of the things that we can do? Yeah, it's never too late. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the easiest things that parents can do is invite kids into the kitchen uh, and helping, letting um, them help you prepare meals, reading recipes for the mathematics involved. Um, and just the, the food science and the healthy nutrition information that comes along with cooking. Uh, letting kids help with a family newspaper. Uh, mm -hmm. During the summer at Project Mori, we create newspapers with kids. Um, that's an easy thing for kids to do, interviewing parents, friends, neighbors, those kinds of things, typing it up on the computer and you have a newspaper ready to distribute to neighbors. That's a great uh, idea. Yeah, putting objects in the kitchen sink and testing whether they float or sink and the buoyancy concepts that are uh, associated with that. Um, Tons of fun things. The mm -hmm. kitchen is also a place for uh, doing acid and base tests. Uh, litmus paper you can find easily at health food stores. Um, you can test the uh, coffee in the uh, coffee in the pot, the milk in the refrigerator, and water, um, and putting them on a on a line of which is more acidic and which is more basic. And I understand one of the um, you know w when you go out shopping and you can just help them with the, well help us read the labels. How, yeah, how much reading does this labels. Cost? Uh, it doesn't have to just be reading books. Mm -hmm. Reading signs, reading labels as you go around the neighborhood. Um, treat that as a scavenger hunt, looking for things, pointing out things to kids. Um, architecture um, abounds in the city, looking for geometric patterns and buildings, angles, lines, those kinds of things as you walk around. Yeah. Uh, New York City is a great place uh, to utilize the parks, uh, identifying species, trees, leaves, all those <laughs> kinds of things that you normally take for granted during right. the summertime uh, can be a fun learning process. Lance, so many great ideas. I can tell you were a first grade teacher way back when, <laughs> way right? Back I hear then, it coming right. out. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you. It was fun. Now, to find out more about Project Mori, go to cbsnewyork.com. We're going to have this morning's top stories right after the break.